Welcome to Children's Worship. Thank you so much for taking some time today to listen to God's Word, to worship God, to listen to the words that He has for us in His Bible stories. God still speaks to you and to me. He does it through the stories in the Bible. And so we're going to take some time today to listen to the Holy Spirit speaking to us in this story. But before we do that, it's good to prepare our hearts and prepare our minds to allow the Holy Spirit to work even easier. We trust the Holy Spirit is always working, but we, we want to give the Holy Spirit uh, kind of a fighting chance, a, uh, a leg up, make it a little bit easier. So we prepare our hearts and our minds through prayers, through songs. And so we're going to do that this morning by singing Be Still and Know. Please join me in singing. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Jesus' ministry and work began after he was baptized and spent 40 days alone in the desert. As Jesus came near the Jordan River, John the Baptist was there with two young followers, Andrew and John. As Jesus came near, John the Baptist proclaimed, Behold the Lamb of God. When Andrew and John heard this, they began to follow Jesus. They wanted to be with Jesus, to hear him speak, to learn from him. After listening to Jesus, they believed that Jesus was the Messiah. John called his brother James to leave the, their fishing nets and follow Jesus. Andrew was so excited, he found the Messiah that he brought his brother Simeon to join Jesus. As Simeon joined Jesus, Jesus gave him a new name, Peter, meaning the rock. The next day, as Jesus was walking back to Galilee, he met a man named Philip. To Philip, Jesus said, follow me. Immediately, Philip went to Jesus and also brought a friend, Nathaniel. As Jesus continued his ministry, he added more followers. One day, Jesus saw a tax collector, a man people did not like sitting at by his table. His name was Matthew. Jesus called to him, follow me. Matthew left his table and followed Jesus, as did his brother James.
others named Simon and Thaddeus, Thomas and Judas Iscariot, decided to follow Jesus too. Jesus taught these disciples who he was and why he came. He began the work God wanted him to do and taught these 12 men how to carry the work of God. I wonder how it felt to hear Jesus say, follow me. I wonder if it was hard to follow Jesus. I wonder how it felt to listen to Jesus teach. I wonder how it felt to be close to Jesus. Would you please join me in prayer? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Lord, we thank you that you called disciples, that you, Jesus, came and you called people to follow you, to be leaders in your community, in your loving community. And we're so thankful you continue to call people today to join you, and you use us to call people, call people in our families, our friends, in our communities, Lord. We pray that we would be listening to your Holy Spirit this week to know who to talk to, when to talk to them about your love, and to share that love with everybody that we know. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We heard God's word. We heard the words of God. Did you hear him? Did you hear him speaking words to you? Maybe you did, and maybe you feel like you didn't. But we trust that God was speaking to us through these words. And the best thing that we can do when God speaks to us is to respond, to respond to those words. And we can respond in all sorts of different ways. We can respond maybe by drawing a picture, coloring, doing some sort of craft that, um, we, that the story made us think about. Maybe you want to retell the story, gather the people that are with you, and retell the story and focus on some of those things that are going on. Maybe you want to sing some more songs. Maybe you just want to talk more about it. You have a lot of questions about the story. That's a really good way to respond. And maybe you just think, I need to sit quietly for a minute, be a little more reflective. Maybe you want to take some time to pray or to journal. But the most important thing is that you respond in some way. And we trust Trust your instinct. Trust the way the Holy Spirit is prompting you. If after this video ends, you think color, that's probably what the Holy Spirit is, is prompting you to. If, if they say, if, if you feel like I need to ask more questions, that's probably what the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. So follow that. Follow where you feel led after this to respond. But thank you so much. In the meantime, after this video, take some time to that. In the meantime, I'm thankful that you're able to participate with me, to listen to God's word, and have a wonderful time. See you next time.